Okay, this is a picture of an, a uh, Bendix AD2 air dryer. It is sticking open, the ejector valve is sticking open. My has some dirt in there, so I'm gonna take it apart. I've taken it out, and the next scene, we're gonna go through what it looks like inside. Okay, so here's the, the part I was talking about. So when I, when I unscrew this, there's a lock washer. So there's the, the lock washer instead. This little piece will come off here. This will pull out. There's a spring that pushes this back up. And then this plunger here has a set of O-rings. Now this O-ring, we got to looking at it, it's still pretty, it's still pretty soft and malleable. So it's okay. There's no tears in it. I've cleaned that up. Then on the other side, I can push this out. Here's the other side. And it has a little uh, seal as well. It's malleable, seems to be okay. Everything looks all right. And then lastly is this seal here that goes around the edge. It's still malleable, soft, there's no tears. I've cleaned it up. So we just put this all back together to the best I can, put the spring in. Nope, we got it all backwards. This goes in the top. There's that groove I was talking about that we could use that tool for. This goes like that. Here comes our lock washer and our screw and our bolt. I'm getting started here. Trying to. And I'll put it back in the, it's drawing it up. And then I'll tighten that in the vise here. Like I was talking about, you put on the little groove. Okay, now I'm just gonna, there we go. She's all complete. This is the release. And when that blows down, it lets the air pressure out the side and reseals. We're good to go. Okay, here we go. So we've got, this is actually the outside. This is like a little cover that goes over it. There's a little uh, gasket that goes right here. And then there's this, and we've cleaned this up already. There's a knot, uh, a rubber thing that just keeps any dirt or anything after it ejects. So that's going to go like that. I'm going to take the three screws and these three tiny little machine screws and I'll put that together and then we'll go underneath and install it. Okay, so we're ready to reinstall. Notice I have it blocked at the body blocked. In case the airbags were to come down, the body won't come down. We're looking actually at the bottom of the AD2 air dryer right there. You can see that the, the uh, that wire is the heater to keep it from freezing. So if they could say moisture in there, it won't freeze. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna screw the uh, ejector, uh, the part that actually ejects it, the part that I just rebuilt, we're gonna screw that back up into there, make sure it's super clean. I was putting a light on it there. You can see the desident up inside there. There's three tabs around the edge there removed and you can take out a ring and drop the whole, all the, all the uh, desident that's inside. And it's rebuilt and I'm going to put it on there. You can see it's nice and clean. Get a giant you know, adjustable wrench and maybe tighten this thing down. Right after I was finished filming, I got back up under there and really tightened it down good. And it's working perfect now. It's not sticking open. Whatever was in there, we got out. And that's a nice little quick rebuild of the ejector valve. I'm sure that's not the right term for it, but the uh, ejector valve that lets the moisture out and any particulates or dirt or anything. Um, sometimes those will get stuck inside those rubber uh, fittings or in the rubber diaphragm and it'll stick open a little bit and bleed so to speak. So this will be the third MC8 of mine that has this that I've rebuilt. Hope you enjoyed.